Let's get to a call of the day here. Hawaiian Holdings shares taking a hit on a double downgrade from Stiefel. The firm cutting the stock to a sell from a buy setting pressure from Southwest New Service to Hawaii. Um, Pete, you have owned Hawaiian in the past. I have. I know. Yeah. I, I love the airline, love flying mm-hmm. the airline. But unfortunately, Mel, this is something that's going to be a really big issue. Everybody knew this. So yeah. we saw this coming. But the additional flights from the Bay Area going to Hawaii on Southwest, that's going to be an issue. Inter-island as well, that's going to be a big issue. So when you look at what this particular analyst is looking at in terms of the earnings going forward from 19 to 20, getting cut almost not quite in half, but being cut severely, I, uh, I don't see a reason why right now you'd want to be jumping on Hawaii and even on any kind of a pullback. This competition's only going to get worse and the other domestic airlines as well. Stock peaked out in 2016. The analyst community has been negative on it. Growing more and more, only one buy, six holds, five sells. This is a market cap of about $1.1 billion. What happens to this company going forward? I wonder if it is consolidated and gobbled up by another Hmm. carrier. You own UAL. I do. So UAL is down about 10% or so off its highs. For them, everything's going right. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the CEO, but he's actually done a great job. So now he's on in my good graces again, like Tim Cook. Oh, very wow. Much. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, oh, Tim Cook's so, over look, I think the stock goes back to its old highs. It's consumer driven, it's experience driven, it's in the sweet spot. You can't believe how many eye rolls are here. Oh, there's plenty of eye rolls there. Honestly, highest count ever. <laughs>